Hi and welcome to this tutorial on parabolas. As you probably know if you've seen my other videos, I had quite a few videos on uh, working with parabolas and um, all sorts of videos ranging from how to find the vertex of the parabola, how to find the roots of the parabola, and uh, I've given many variations or a couple of variations on how to do the same thing. And what I wanted to do today was to try another variation on how to find the vertex of a parabola without having to complete the square or uh, find the roots uh, or uh, use a formula. So this is another method and let's, let's take a parabola y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 as an example and what I'm going to do is just a little bit of a trick. I'm going to pull out a 2x. I'm going to factor the first two terms right over here. I'm going to pull out a 2x and we're left with an x plus 3 over 2 plus 4. And what does this do for us? Well, here's what it's going to do. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm going to find two numbers or two x values which result in the same y value. Now, if you recall, a parabola, if you recall, looks like this and it is symmetrical so we're going to use the symmetrical properties where if we find two x values that lie on this curve with the same y value then all we have to do is take the average value or the midpoint between these two x values and that will give us the x coordinate of the vertex and that's what we're going to attempt to do so the first most easiest x value to choose here is x equal to 0. And when x equal to 0, we have y is equal to 4. The next one we're going to choose is to make whatever is in these brackets equal to 0. So if we choose x equal to negative 3 halves, well then what's going to happen is that the brackets inside the brackets we're going to get a value of 0 and therefore 2x times 0 is going to give us 0 and also we're going to get y is equal to 4 and so what this does is it's given us two points 0 and negative 3 halves and both of these have the same y value and then all we got to do to find the x coordinate of the vertex is to take 0 minus 3 halves and divide by 2 and basically just adding these two numbers and since this is a negative it's 0 minus 3 halves minus 3 halves divided by 2 which is just minus 3 quarters and so right there that gives us the x coordinate of the vertex and so if we quickly draw that and let's say this is 1, minus 3 quarters, and this is negative 1, this is 1, so minus 3 quarters is just about here, just about here, so that's the x-coordinate of our vertex, and so to find the y-coordinate of our vertex, we plug in this x equal to negative 3 quarters, and we plug that into our parabola, which is just y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get y is equal to 2 times negative 3 quarters all squared plus 3 times negative 3 quarters plus 4. And if we continue on, we will get 2 times 9 over 16 minus 9 over 4 plus 4, which will give us 18. And I'm going to get a common denominator of 16 here. So 18 minus 36 plus 16 times 4, which is 40 plus 24, 64 
all over 16. And if we add up all of those top numbers on the numerator, we get negative 18 plus 64, which gives us 46 over 16. And lastly, if we divide both sides by 2, we would get 23 over 8. So this is our y coordinate of the vertex. So if we take our x coordinate, which would be, which was negative 3 fourths, and then 23 over 8, this is our vertex. So going back to our parabola here, 23 over 8 is just under 3. And so in our crude drawing here, we have our vertex over here. Our parabola is going to look something like that. So here, just to recap, is a quick method for finding the vertex of a parabola by doing some simple factoring. See you next time.